So I'm back with Scott Herrick from X-Ray Pantone, who's going to walk us through the polarizer switch. All right. So on the Exact, um, the Exact instrument is the first instrument on the market that actually does the full M1, M0, M2, and M3. Okay. We just added a new feature um, to the Exact through a firmware um, update that we have just done here in the last couple of months that will actually give us a simultaneous M0, M1, M2, and M3 all in one reading. Okay. And that's really controlled by this switch right here. So on the switch, there's a little zero right there, and there's a little one right there, okay? When you have that switch set to zero, we will give you M0, M1 part two, M2, and M3. If you have that switch set to the M1 mode, then you're gonna get M1 part one, which is the full M1 measurement condition, okay? So this is the only instrument on the market that's capable of doing all of those conditions, okay? So that's the switch. So usually what happens here is, is most people leave it in the M0 mode, unless they specifically need the M1. Um, but also in the instrument, okay, if you made, made a change to the switch, there's also a setting on the instrument that you have to tell that particular module, which if you're using it in the LAB values or density, um, which measurement condition you want, whether that's M0, M1, M2, or M3. If you have that switch set wrong, the instrument will flag you and tell you you have the measurement condition set wrong. So you can't accidentally move the switch and then have the instrument give you bad readings. It will flag you in both ways to make sure that the switch and your settings on the instrument are set correctly. And so what does M1 mean, Scott? Well, M1 is daylight. <clears throat> so that's the technical definition of M1. It's D50 or 5,000 degree Kelvin. Um, but in the, in, in what it really kind of uh, means is is what we're doing with the instrument is we are controlling the amount of light coming out of the instrument uh, to meet the true specifications of D50. And we're also controlling how much UV energy is in daylight. Um, so we know if we go outside, you know, we're in Michigan, so you can't really go outside now because it's like minus 20. <laughs> but if you go outside in the summertime and you hold your arm out, it will take you, you know, maybe a half hour or something like that to get a sunburn. Now, if I stand here in this office and it's using fluorescent lights, and put my arm out, it will take me, I don't know, until I'm 90 to maybe even get a slight suntan from that light. So we know the fluorescent tubes have very little UV, but we know daylight has a lot of UV. So when you put it in an M1 measurement condition, M1 is controlling daylight and UV to be consistent when you're measuring substrates um, or inks or anything like that that has a lot of OBAs in it. Perfect. So anyone who is looking to measure substrates with OBAs could benefit from that M1. Absolutely. You will get a consistent measurement when you're an M1, regardless of how much OBAs is in your substrates. And, and it doesn't matter what instrument you're measuring as long as you're all measuring an M1, and it will be a consistent reading. Wonderful. Well, thanks again, Scott Herrick from X-Ray Pantone. We're going to be diving into some of the other features in the next videos.